Hello, hello, hello. Today, I'll be teaching you about an interesting and not so very complicated mechanic I learned. It's called P and C ticks. Firstly, to fully understand this, I'll explain what ticks are. Ticks are basically used to make the game run. There are two types of ticks, redstone ticks and game ticks. Redstone ticks run at a speed of 10 TPS, meaning every tenth of a second. A game tick, on the other hand, runs every 20th of a second, so at 20 TPS. As you can see, each redstone tick is divided in half. The first part of the redstone tick, occurring every odd game tick, is called the P tick, where producer components activate. This is also where redstone dust visually updates. A producer component is a repeater, a comparator, a redstone torch, and an observer. The second part, occurring every game tick, is called the C tick, where every consumer component activates. A consumer component is every other redstone component, for example, rails, doors, pistons, redstone blocks, levers, lamps, etc. Now, you may be wondering why this seemingly useless mechanism is actually good. Well, it's quite simple. As you can see here, both lamps turn on at the same time even though there is a repeater. This can be explained by the fact that the lever activates on a C tick, followed by the repeater that activates on a P tick, followed by both lamps activating on a C tick. Using this mechanism, you can extend signals through long distances in a third of the time. Let me explain. Using this, you can see that the lamp on the right activated before the lamp on the left. This is because first the torch depowers and the repeater powers, then the piston retracts, the repeater depowers and this one powers, then on and on. As you can see, the line on the right switches between P and C ticks, while the one on the left uses only P tech. But, because pistons take three game ticks to extend, it will depower at the same time as shown here. But, is there a way to send P and C pulses? Well, yes, you can actually send one game tick pulses in Minecraft. Here is a P tick pulse generator, and here is a C tick pulse generator. You can use this to then activate certain things on the same line of redstone. Note that because these blocks affected have cooldowns or extended pulses, you can't extend this pulse using just repeaters and keep a one game tick pulse. Instead, you need to use these game tick generators to extend the one game tick pulse using this game tick pulse my friend Bratwurst made. As you can see here, it extends both P and C tick pulses. If this brief explanation didn't make much sense to you, I advise that you watch Oakley Paul's video on this subject. Now, what can you do with this mechanic? Well, for example, I made a super fast CCA adder, meaning that this addition can be also easily turned into a subtraction. Over here in the sign, we have a really fast bedrock CCA adder and in orange, the half tick CCA adder that I made, which runs faster than the other one. Now, somehow unintentionally, it also depowers as fast, which shouldn't be the case, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. You can also use this to then make a multiplier, a divider, etc. If you have a circuit that uses lots of adders, multipliers, and dividers, this CCA adder would be very useful. So yes, this mechanism is actually very useful if you think about it, and this can open multiple possibilities which can speed things up. Thank you for watching this video. I highly recommend that you go watch Ben the Human's video, Oakley Paw's video, and Wooden's video on this. Thank you for watching, till next time.